First, Carly Barnett is there right now, and Carly, several agencies spent hours there today. Sean, it was definitely a shocking day for the community here in Porterdale. This in relation to a girl that's been missing for seven years, 19-year-old Morgan Bauer. We actually spoke via Zoom with a close friend of Morgan's who says they are holding on to hope, but they're also hoping for answers. Closure and the answers are what are very much needed. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to those. Taryn Ryan says she's been waiting seven years to find out what happened to her lifelong friend, Morgan Bauer. City life is what she wanted, and it didn't really matter where. She spoke to us from Aberdeen, South Dakota, where the two are from. Taryn tells us they spoke February 26, 2016. It was only a few weeks after 19-year-old Morgan moved to the Atlanta area, and the last day anyone had heard from her. It was really just a quick five minute Skype conversation and kind of like, I love you have to go. I'll talk to you later. And I just kind of never, never got that later. Thursday, a possible break in the case. The Federal Bureau of Investigation and Georgia Bureau of Investigation searching a home and property on South Broad Street in Porterdale, Newton County, right near the Yellow River where Morgan's phone was last pinged. New developments have led to information about the property here in Porterdale. Uh, it was enough for a search warrant to be issued. Neighbors couldn't believe a full-scale search like this was happening in their close-knit community. It's very shocking and very scary because it's, it's right here beside me. Law enforcement concluded the search for the night, and they're asking for patients from loved ones waiting years for answers. Morgan's mother, Sherry Keenan, spoke to our gray television station in South Dakota back in January. I can't imagine... I just can't imagine her not being here. You know, I can't imagine living without her. Now, it's unclear if that search is going to be resuming tomorrow. We also don't know at this point what if they found anything. We did request uh, the copy of the search warrant from Porterdale Police. They say they are not releasing any documents at this time. Live in Porterdale, Carly Barnett, Atlanta News First. It's something